Organizations, whether municipal or corporate, need virtual labs to test software and provide online training for staff and business partners. Many companies forego the need for on-site server hardware by picking up various platform as a service, PaaS, products to offload the maintenance and updates to another company. But what happens when you're dealing with multiple virtual machines, PaaS resources, and other complicated networks? Do you have issues running it all efficiently? Does setting up new environments take too long under your current workflow? If so, it's time to consider using Azure Dev Test Labs. These are pre-configured templates to create virtual lab environments through Microsoft Azure. You can get up and running with this platform quickly and conveniently. The user interface for Azure, which presents itself after you log into the service, shows you all the modules you will be using. Overview gives you lists of virtual machines, including their status updates and locations. Internal support lets you get in contact with your dev team. You can send information or provide contact information through this page. Configuration and policies allows you to assign roles and permissions to users through access control. Resource groups, as the name suggests, help manage your resources. You can choose to remove or edit anything on the list. There are plenty more functions to look into as well, such as claiming available virtual machines and tweaking configuration pages. Get the most out of Azure Dev Test Labs by integrating it with your company's workflow today. Provide educational resources to your staff and business partners regarding Azure to ensure best results. Many cloud training providers can get you started inexpensively, and virtual IT labs give participants a chance to practice their skills in a simulated environment. In this video, we learned about Azure Dev Test Labs and how to use them. If you would like to learn more about CloudShare solutions, feel free to visit www.cloudshare.com today.